Well, the United Nations Security Council met in New York this Monday to discuss the violence in Sudan, where civilians are increasingly caught in the crossfire. The reality of the situation was laid bare in Al Jazeera state on Friday when rapid support forces ran riot, killing more than 120 people in one town alone. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has warned of increased chances of regional instability, mass famine and displacement. Our regional correspondent Bastien Renouy provides more details about this latest meeting. At least 127 people were killed by the rapid support forces during the past five days in the eastern part of Al Jazeera state in Sudan. According to a local monitoring group, 200 more people were injured and 150 were arrested and detained by the rapid support forces. These are atrocious crimes, said Clementine Queta Salami, the UN local coordinator in Sudan. In a statement, she cites reports of rape, targeted attacks, sexual violence and mass killing. So, uh, how is it possible to explain these violences against civilians in Al Jazeera state? It seems that the rapid support forces are retaliating after the defection of one of their local commanders. He's called Abu Akila Kekil. He defected on the 20th of October to join the Sudanese military. In response to the escalating violence, Al Jazeera's governor issued a, a statement calling for a general mobilization of everyone able to bear arms in every city, every village and every uh, neighborhood to counter the rapid support forces. During their meeting in uh, New York this Monday, the members of the UN Security Council spoke about the events uh, in Al Jazeera state, but unfortunately, according to the uh, Secretary General of the United Nations, uh, Antonio Guterres, violence against uh, civilians have been increasing during the past months and during the past weeks, even if it's impossible to quantify them at the moment.